my ex, where am I? I am sitting on the fucking floor. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Shh. All right, Libra, let's get your lying ass on up out of here so we can get these motherfuckers rolling out so y'all can go and get up off my goddamn nerves so I can continue on my writing. Ooh, come on, liar. All right, three. That's the message. Y'all lying. Because the song that came across is I heard it all before. She said, your lies ain't working now. Like, does it make sense? So, again, it's either you or somebody who you know their lies ain't working. Heard it all before. So, somebody may be telling somebody something that it is that they've heard before and somebody don't want to hear it no more. So, I don't know if this is the same lie that somebody continues to return to over and over and over again or it's just a situation though as well. Yep, somebody done it. Been there, done that before with a specific person because it said don't let your past hold you back and be bold and make the first move. So, again, it's kind of like somebody continues to keep doing the same thing and it's time for them to be able to move forward and somebody has been plaguing themselves with doubt or a state of situation and needing some form of answers we're gonna start this off because we're gonna get a zodiac because we're gonna be messy since everybody want to be messed up in here and then that's how we're gonna roll out does it make sense though with this state and time then i'll be back on my regular schedule program all right but we're still gonna read the cards but we're just gonna expose the zodiac signs thank you uh, all right we got Sagittarius, Libra. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. We got Sagittarius, we got Libra, and that's it. So let's see what else. All right. Girl, what is it? I'm trying. I just stuck mine in there. Uh, should be. Should be. I just stuck mine in there. I just took it out of my hair. They were dying. Anywho. So we got Libra, we got Capricorn, we got Sagittarius, we also have Libra. So we got two Libras, that's why I said, y'all lying, one of y'all lying, whoever this is, that was well. Now getting back on subject, you said, um, girl, where the fuck my glasses at? Jada, where my glasses at, girl? All right, I got them. All right, okay, I got them. Does it make sense? I heard it all before, cause your lies ain't working that. All right, it said, luck is on your side. It said, a new romantic cycle began. Nothing yet is set in stone, and you are very close to achieving your goal. For some of y'all, somebody may be trying to shoot their shot with you to get you in a relationship, though, as well, or somebody could be going through some form of a divorce or something that's going on with a pending case. There is something that somebody put out in the universe, and somebody may be trying to retract that, but with that nothing yet set in stone, it is. People be forgetting that intentions is a book when it comes down to a situation because it said you are very close to achieving your goal and they give me just a little bit of karma i'm just gonna be honest especially with super moon emotions running high be bold and make the first move and a new start is coming so some of y'all could be dealing with a person who moved based off no facts just feelings that's like the most dumbest shit you can ever do when it comes down to a situation though as well because you we gotta take time to breathe your hard work is paying off and a win-win is on the outcome that's why i said this is karma karmic it's a situation that's old been there done there before it could be with money, it could be a silver suitcase, don't have to be. But for some of y'all, when it comes down to this, I do feel like somebody has been repetitively doing the same thing over and over and over again, trying to achieve something to go about when it comes to getting or gaining some newness. And this is where you hear me say somebody's trying to retract something back that it is that they did, and it may not be going out in the way that it is. So this could be an amicable split, or this could be a divorce, or this could just be two people that saying, babe, I don't want to fuck with you, you don't want to fuck with me and it could just basically be that that was way a look because you got the answers you need is coming because this somebody that's been constantly asking themselves over and over and over again you got an Aries in the group chat too does that make sense look because we also got have faith in your dreams and don't let your past hold you back and then we also got your commitment is being tested that's why i said some of y'all dealing with somebody that anytime something gonna be in a relationship bitch when that's what i'm for the so you deal with the relationship how you want to deal with it, bitch. I want to deal with it, bitch. You're gone. You don't want to stick around when it's bad, but bitch, you want to come around when it's up. Oh, you got to go. That is not your lover. That's somebody that's just around for a good time and a fun time. Some of y'all dating somebody who is just like that, and some of y'all don't understand. Ah. Um, right. It's kind of like some of y'all, y'all don't understand with this. Because we also got protection. If you've been doing protection work and you've been wondering why you and this person not getting along or why this relationship doesn't sustain, this person ain't supposed to be together, bitch. I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all need to hear it. You keep trying to make a relationship work that don't fucking need to work with you. Does that make sense? Especially if you've been doing any type of spell work or any type of work. You're doing protection work, especially if somebody uses this for spells. If somebody casts a protection ritual 
was on themselves and they're in a relationship with a person who was no good for them, baby. They keep breaking up. Somebody don't even know it, but I, girl, they don't even know it. Does that make sense? They don't. I'm telling you, somebody keep doing protection work. Oh, well, let me do some protection work. Then boom, spirit block it. You see this person full of shit. Somebody keep lying like they ain't fucking with somebody. They ain't lying, playing games and shit like that, though. The shit end up getting blocked. Does that make sense? That was where your ancestors, whoever the fuck that is, keep cutting the motherfucking shit off. Then they try to it's resumed. My bad. I thought I was talking shit this whole entire time. Oh, but I don't know what this Some of y'all are getting back on track because I said there was a commitment or a relationship that's going on at this point in time. I beg you. I'm trying to plug something up on the ground. And I said, some of y'all may be into a form of magic. And I said, whoever this is that's into magic, if they doing protection work, their protection work is breaking them up with a person because they're not supposed to be with this said individual. Do I need to take my scarf out, sweetie? I was trying to see. My suit got a little messed up. So it's kind of like, um, I was like, I don't know. Cause your lies ain't working now. It's giving 2000. I got to do my deep baby hairs on the side. So that down. Does that make sense over as well? So that down. Then put my little extra rubber bands on the back. So it can be like a scratch bun. I got to find my eyelashes, baby. Come in this room one more time, Tristan. What do you want? Clean this nasty supper. What do you want? Clean it. Anywho, getting back on subject. It's kind of like, I got to do my baby hair. Ah, oh, but getting back on subject. Girl, what my little thing on? I just had it. Because your lies ain't working now. Got to wait until my ass was dry. Just up there. Did you knock that motherfucker down? Because you been all up there. You been all the fuck up here. Can you see where the fuck is at? It's in the clear thing. You touched it. It was up here just minding this finger fuck. You just minding this beautiful business. Uh, it's not right here. Did it fall back? My bad. I'm on live. I'm recording. Girl, be quiet. You know, get back on subject, y'all. I'm on. I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it, baby. Watch it. All right, get back on subject, y'all. Uh, somebody don't understand why a relationship keeps coming to an end. And some people don't understand that, though, because I'm telling you, when your ancestors don't want you for somebody, they're not supposed to be with you. And it's not always sometimes that a person is bad and some people fail to recognize it and don't know. It's just certain things that's coming on your path that somebody not going to be able to handle. Like, does that make sense? Like, say, for instance, you're trying to get a job promotion. This person might be the reason why you lose like this like does it make sense somebody doesn't understand it when it comes to commitments like yeah somebody may be good for your flesh like don't get me wrong if y'all got a little vibration of ancestors like some of mine they'll let you go and get your little nut off don't get me wrong but when you start talking about that commitment and shit all my ancestors be right here ruining both of our lives does it make sense they be like hell no nah, bitch you was just a joke like wait a minute y'all can play all day but what you talking about a commitment so again it's not like the overbearing parent for some of y'all may be dealing with that situation with an overbearing parent that could be overstepping their boundaries when it comes down to a situation but now nah, when my ancestors be saying somebody ain't no good baby they ain't ever lied so again somebody's over there continuously casting some form of a ritual trying to protect themselves and whoever this is they keep trying to protect themselves they're wondering why them and the person that it is that they're with why they keep breaking up because somebody isn't for them. And it's like, this person doesn't get it. They just don't have to find it out the hard way. And for some of y'all, I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all family members probably didn't say that. It probably has rolled over into family drama. Like, again, when people that damn hard-headed, it shows up in the family drama and family problems where everybody been, everybody been to say something, everybody been told this person and they hard-headed and they don't want to miss again. They don't. Everybody been the problem saying something. Some of y'all like, no, I'm going to make it work. Your friends saying no. Everybody saying, I ain't talking about don't no hate man bullshit. And again, I'm not talking about parents who overstep their boundaries. No, I'm talking about to where it's just a hard no, where people understand it's a good time, it's a fun time, but it's like, you want to lock in on it for life? Ugh. Like, does it make sense? Don't ask me, again. Because sometimes you got to be supportive of your friends, and they're going to make dumb decisions, and you got to be like, you know what? That's my friend. All right, let's go. 
<laughs> what? Sometimes you gotta be like, that's my friend. They make dumb decisions. I'm with them through and through. All right, let's go. Ooh, we got power. Let's see what's the next card. Power. Ooh, I like this. Come on, this deck's good. We got power, refugee. We also got prosperity. We also got flow. That's why I said, whoever this is, this got something to do with a damn commitment in a relationship. Every time somebody get in a relationship with this person, somebody needs to slow down to build a better boundaries because you know, whoever this is they get in a relationship with, they always lose and shit because of this person. And somebody may feel like they got bad luck, but it's really the person who they with. It's really the person who they with. I'm telling you. Like somebody is bad fucking luck. Either they going through a karmic cycle. Either somebody's going through a karmic time though as well. To where somebody doesn't want to atone for the karma that is they did. So this could be the person who they was before you or something like that though as well. Like some of y'all this the case. So somebody doesn't want to change or assess or even identify or correct or state certain wrongs that it is that they did. So this is causing problems in the relationship, though. Look, that why I said it's them. You're like who you in a relationship with. They don't know how to apologize, or if it's you, they don't know how to apologize. Somebody could be a liar. They could have lied about their past, like whoever this is. They have done a lot, and they ain't said nothing though as well. And it's kind of like they bringing this stress upon y'all. Y'all better go watch the videos from 2020. And somebody like which video it is specific, bitch. No, so you can steal it, bitch. Do your research. Do your research. I'm going to start telling my viewers to call y'all ass out and start bullying y'all on the internet the same way y'all did me. We seen this before. We seen this fucking before. Like, does that make sense? All right. But some of y'all need to go back and watch it because I said some of y'all was going through some karmic things because of your partner when they 2020 portal opened and it activated. Okay. Let me put my eyelashes on, girl. Because your lines ain't working now. All right, let's go. Now, the first card, we also got power. For some of y'all with this power card, there was a... Jada, shut the fuck up. It sound like you over there chanting this shit. Shut up. Now, we also got... Um... Shh. I'm recording. With this dragon card, we also got power. For some of y'all with this dragon card, going back to this power, be mindful of what you do yourself away from as well. Be mindful of what you react to when it comes down to certain situations. Because you may be dealing with a shit start or something like that, though, as well. This may be a psychic implant or a dream host. Somebody keep trying to come across some matter dreams, though, as well. This is giving me, like, the Sandman, but it's like Sandman stealing motherfucking or energy harvesting or something like that, though, as well. If you feeling like you depleted or something like that, though, when you get up, though, this could be an entity or some attachment. For some of y'all, this entity attachment is happening to this person that could be doing this individually. So the person that's typing off you, they're feeling drained by their own energy person can't even get up and be able to carpe diem and seize the day so they keep doing the same ritual over and over and over and over again and they keep wondering why they keep going through this like bow or spit or a uh, situation that it is like they keep going through the same thing over and over and over again because it's like they don't want to stop like whoever this is they don't want to stop when it comes down to these actions that it is that they take on so you're dealing with a person that's not learning from their lesson though as well this may be your partner or somebody who's in a relationship or this could have been somebody that you thought was a close confidant or even a fucking friend for some of y'all this is a false ally this is somebody that does not have your back i'm just gonna be honest this is somebody that does not have your back I'm just going to be honest. They don't have your back because we got the strength card in reverse, the three of cups, the fool card, and also the knight of swords. I said that, though, y'all could be gossip buddies, kiki buddies or something. This could have been somebody who you're in a relationship with, somebody who could have cheated on you. You could have cheated on them when it comes down to a situation. For some of y'all, somebody was forewarned from spirit or somebody else to stop. Somebody could have some people after them or something like that, though, as well, when it comes down to the police or another person. Somebody possibly could have threatened you when it comes to a situation, but somebody did not stop. They keep going. Somebody has to take some type of affirmative action when it comes down to a situation because... I just keep getting whoever this is is in their ego, like, oh, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. I can trump over anybody. I can do this. Like, they ass is not learning. Like, somebody's not learning the fucking lesson. Sorry, I'm trying to get my legs straight now, but without 
fucking with the thing. Somebody's not learning their lesson when it comes down to a situation. Somebody just continuously just keep doing the same shit. And for some of y'all, this group may end up falling apart because everybody may end up talking about each other, but it's like that bring a bone, take a bone type energy. So all y'all do might do is just sit up and gossip and talk about motherfuckers and stuff like that, though, as well. And then she gonna come back to bite y'all in the ass. Yeah, because you got the chariot card, the five of wands, the king of wands, and the nine of wands. That's how a fight gonna get started. I'm telling you, yeah, that's how a fight gonna get started. For some of y'all, we got a car theft or something like that, though, going on in the group chat, though. For some of y'all, it's not a car theft. This is like in a state of competition over something or winning something at this state in time, trying to take down somebody. So it was like a group of people that's trying to take down a specific person. This is them, they in conflict. It could be some women that's arguing over a fucking man or a man that's arguing over a fucking woman or something like that, though, as well. Meanwhile, this is them trying to scurve on out. He's like the outcast, where it's like, I know you like to think your shit don't fight you. This somebody that's like, babe, I'm getting the fuck out the way. Whoever this is, this somebody that's like, babe, I'm finna go. Like, does it make sense? Like, somebody don't want to deal with the drama that comes with everybody, right? Stop fucking with my aesthetics. We was just good. We was just good. Cheeks weren't big and nothing. Stop. You don't do that to them bogus ass bitches. They be over there stealing all my motherfucking content. Stop trying to make me look a certain way for them motherfucking bitches and stuff like that, though, as well. Tell them hoes to run me my shit and shout my name out on my motherfucking platform. Get over they self. Now, whoever this is, though, as well, with this charity card and that five of ones, somebody could have gotten to it or got to fighting over a car. Or this could have been y'all could have pulled up and y'all could have had like a little uh, jacking type situation or something like that, though. Don't know. Like, this could be like, um, we're just going to be honest. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who likes to start up a whole bunch of shit. I'm just going to be honest. And this is them. If they can get away with it, they will. Like, whoever this is. So, if you allow this person to give you any great ideas or when it comes to drama or our mess or any fire starters or something like that, though, as well, they coming right in your life. So, again, somebody going to have to learn how to say no because whoever this is, somebody going to feel like everybody turned their back on them, but they really got to be defensive. Like, they're being defensive. Like, I would be mindful because this person may be in victim energy and they may come off and saying, this person did so much to me and this person did so much to me. They started all this shit and now they want to play the victim. So, I would be mindful if you're dealing with anybody like that, though, with this state and time. They're going to say, no, these people did all these things to me. No, you did that with your messy ass. Whoever this is, like, you started up all this goddamn bullshit whoever this is so i will be mindful of anybody coming to you with that woe is me i need a head to lay on i need a shoulder to cry on because they keep serving up all this shit five of wands is ongoing drama five of wands in reverse i can see if this person was quitting stopping is not they in king of wands energy they in fire energy they are active they are reactive they are causing a lot of things because this is somebody that's trying to get some state of attention or they're trying to garner some state of satisfaction by doing something like repetitiously or over and over and over again so i would just be mindful of that though as well it could be for money because we got page of wands three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles this could be spelled work too somebody could be mad that the incantations and their rituals are not working anymore with the three of cups being in reverse some of y'all could be rejecting or declining this person saying you don't want to like do this shit with them like some of y'all saying no i don't want no deals with it because some of y'all keep re reaping like bad results negative results fucked up rewards for some of y'all you keep getting a job and you keep losing that job like, somebody keeps getting a job, they keep losing a job. With the page of wands, it may be somebody that may not be good at their job. So, you may be hiring somebody that got bad character traits. Like, does that make sense? You know, somebody got a nasty attitude or... um they don't work well with people or something like that though as well so as soon as they get a job they lost a job it's like god damn like whoever this is it's like they can't i don't know whoever this is like they keep trying to look for a job some of y'all do somebody's looking for a fucking hand out when it comes down to a situation and nothing is never lasting so this is somebody that has mastered the idea of well let me start up some chaos let me be manipulative let me be sneaky let me do all those type of things though as well so i can get what the fuck i want like that's who you're dealing with like for real and some of y'all don't know it because we got the queen of swords the death card we also got the six of pentacles taking advantage of people and stuff like that though as well somebody could have sat down and came up with this ploy this queen of swords what what this queen of swords gonna sit down and she gonna this queen of swords gonna sit up her hatred that she has for somebody, her jealousy and ability to be able to move forward, resisting some state of change is going to communicate how she got over on somebody. So, again, it's like the messy meeting the messy in a situation, though. It's like the messy meeting the messy, seven of swords, eight of swords, and the two of swords. And it's like they canceling each other out. 
Like y'all dealing with two people where you got, oh, I can't keep a job because they're the problematic individual. Does it make sense those that it's the victim blamer? Everybody done done so much shit to me. They the motherfucker that keep up shit. Then you got the motherfucker that's on the other half. Well, oh, I did this and I got over on this motherfucker and I did this. These two motherfuckers are canceling each other out and they keeping up a whole lot of shit. So they in stress, they in duress, whatever the hell they got going on though at this same time though as well. Like both of them messy as hell and they full of fucking shit. And at this point in time, some of y'all don't recognize that the person that you keep confiding in is a motherfucker that's causing all these problems. They taking your business, they putting that shit somewhere else and they putting the shit out. So again, you, some of y'all need to be mindful who the fuck you talking to. If you're not, then you just like the drama and stuff like that though as well. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So again, if you like that mess and shit, that's cool. But if it's resulting into fights, arguments, and disarray and stuff like that, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Now, next card out, we got the refugee. For some of y'all, that refugee gives me like the energy of to where um it's like a state of acceptance. You know, I like the refugee camps to where certain people go to because they seek solace. This could be domestic violence. This could be homeless shelters. You know, like those particular things though as well. But this is the victim energy somebody is in. Like they seeking refugee in other people. This is somebody that doesn't want to change. I told you, this is somebody that know they can't get shit and they gonna play the victim. So that's how they get their shit. That's how they get their victims. It's kind of like, oh, I'm like this and I'm like this. It's like, girl, you don't get that sad ass shit on. I love watching y'all fall for that the people who don't like me. I'm telling you, I do. I'll be like, girl, goodbye. Look, three of swords, tower card, and also the ten of cups. I said that. This is that person. You're going to invite them into your life and they're going to cause a whole lot of disturbances like this is the type of person if you already had a little conflict going on with somebody else or you know you and your kids y'all had a little problem something going on you got into it with this motherfucker something like that that was well it was a little something something going on you know family problems family always gonna be family right now for some of y'all i don't believe it but i'm talking about like you know you got like the little minor squabbles uh every time i come around here they always ask me for this this is a person that when they get mad they're going to hide in all of these problems they're going to play on the discord that's going on between other people they is like they do this look we got king of swords two of swords and the six of swords so it's Clear in the group check and bring you some state of clarity. I'm saying this is that person. It's like a mind fuck, mind manipulation or something like that. Though as well, this is a person. Like some of y'all may be dealing with somebody to where um, I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't know why y'all don't be thinking that women are narcissists. Like I'm just gonna be honest. Like some of y'all dealing with somebody that's narcissistic or high in narcissistic traits. I'm just going to be honest. And one of y'all do not get it. We got four of pentacles, the five of swords, the king of pentacles, and the ten of wands. That's why I said it's like, one of y'all don't get it. And some of y'all, this here is going to cause a lot of problems. Something that somebody did that they thought was important or they thought they had some affluence or they feel like they made the best decision. Somebody going to find out that they didn't have all the information that it is that they had. Somebody was just basically playing them and somebody else and they were trying to get the hell out of Dodge when it comes down to a situation. So this could have resulted in somebody going to jail or somebody landing up in jail or this could have been to some state of conflict or fight. This could have been a verbal slashing between you and someone else though as well. I'm hearing this got something to do with some form of documents or paperwork or something like that though as well or something like that. Somebody may end up dropping a case going forward against somebody because I keep getting if you had a case going after somebody... You got a case going forward behind somebody and you going full speed that now this person can come back and sue you because you done falsely accused them of some shit that is that they didn't do and you did something that was nasty as hell on somebody else's behalf. So if I was them, depending on how mature they is and if you know this person, if this that person dealing with shit, I would sue the both out of y'all. I would. I would because it's kind of like y'all messy as hell. This is like messy. Like y'all messy. Like, some of y'all, you not, you just genuinely in the midst of that. But with this Ace of Swords, y'all are messy. Whoever this is, you messy. You keep up a lot of shit. I would sue the both of y'all. We got Seven of Wands in reverse. We got the Ace of Swords. We also got the Hair Fun in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun card. And we also got Wheel of Fortune. That's why I said it's got something to do with some contracts, some state of paperwork. This is illuminating something, though, as well. With the Seven of Wands, I'll tell you, this somebody could afford your name, afford somebody not dot name or some documents or something like that, though, as well. Trying to inhibit some state of finances. This is just forgery, forgery, forgery. This is a state of a contract. Somebody could have came forward and tried to present some state of evidence and said that they were was someone if it wasn't someone this could be somebody that signed something to try to uh 
what's that shit? Uh, not a conservatorship, but it's something else where somebody tried to take control of somebody's finances or something like that. That was where whoever this is, they greedy. This could be a mother that's trying to do this to their own child, but I don't see no little kid on the board. Like, does that make sense? I don't see a little kid on the board. I don't. It's not a little kid out here. That's why I said this is somebody that's just greedy. Look, Knight of Swords, a chariot card, and a nine of pentacles. That's why I said they're greedy. Like somebody's fucking greedy. That's why I said it ain't no little kids out here. This could be a mother doing this to a daughter or a father doing this to a daughter or I don't know if it's your stepkid because we do got hair fun in reverse or open marriage or whatever fuck it is, policies. I don't know. Or somebody just abusing the justice system to basically benefit them. Bitch, I don't know. All I know is somebody keeping up a whole lot of drama and there's somebody around here trying to keep up with the Joneses with the Nine of Pentacles and somebody has accumulated a shit ton of debt. Again, so it's kind of like if you got into a relationship with this person, somebody got away with stealing and taking so much that at the same time, they're trying to make you responsible for it is that they crimes. And it's funny. I was just watching House of Pain last night and Ella had to go through this. So somebody's trying to make somebody else be responsible for their crimes at the same time that it is that they did in the whole entire time. They were just using someone and they have been abusing their power. For some of y'all, this may be somebody that don't want to pay you back neither. So, again, this person don't want to pay you back. Somebody feels like if you got some state of money, I can do it. I don't care. So, this somebody feel like I can do whatever I want because you got money. Like, look, two of pentacles, three of wands, and also the five of wands. That's why I said somebody trying to figure out, is it worth the house to deal with the relationship between you and someone at the same time? Because when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's bad. You saw me out trying to figure out, like, how can you receive some sort of return or evidence or how can you refund something or balance something out? So somebody probably got to move some finances around or shift something around for something that came up missing, though, as well. Or for some of y'all, you just contemplating on allowing this person to come back into your life, though, as well. Because I keep getting this, though, that there is a heap of shit that comes with this person. I just keep getting it. And some of y'all, somebody is messy as hell. Like, somebody messy as fuck. Like, does it make sense? Some of y'all know somebody that's messy as hell. Last card. Look, we got the moon card, the knight of cups, and we also got the page of pentacles. Somebody is messy. Some of y'all, somebody, I'm tired of this energy with somebody sleeping with kids or paying children to have sex with them or something like that, though. Or this could be teenagers or something. I don't know. Somebody trying to pay a kid to have sex with them or something. All right, same sex. Could be girl, could be boy, don't know. My baby. We got the strength card in reverse. I'll be mindful too of you in the prostitution and sex work because somebody may try to pay somebody to embarrass you, humiliate you, or possibly take you down or get you in an uncompromising situation. So this might have something to do with one of your kids. So some of y'all kids, I don't know if they grown or not, but somebody needs to know that because somebody's trying to catch, get somebody in an uncompromising position or something. I don't know. This could be like getting naked or trying to assault them, like fight them or pulling somebody's pants down, you know, like that type of shit though as well. Or just basically catching someone in the act, like somebody's trying to humiliate somebody. Play this card. Girl, because Libra on the fire. Like, does that make sense? A user Libra be taking out my goddamn family. Look, we got seven of swords, three of pentacles in reverse, the high priestess, the king of cups, and the judgment. That's why I said somebody was lying. They were lying. Somebody was lying about a sexual assault. Somebody was lying about participating in this. Somebody was lying about initiating this. Somebody was lying about keeping up bees. Somebody was lying about what it is that they took, stole. Somebody was lying about their credibility. Like somebody lied. Like somebody just generally lied to you about a lot of things that was well at the same time. And somebody doesn't want to be responsible. For some of y'all, somebody thought that they was going to get away with this situation. And again, they are fearing some form of judgment. For some of y'all, when I say this judgment, it could be in court, but for some of y'all, somebody doesn't want you to know the real them, but this is them. Like, somebody don't want you to know the real them. Like, this person is terrible. Like, I just keep getting that though. For some of y'all, them somebody that's terrible. Like, they don't want you to know the real them. They are shitty motherfuckers. Oh, God. And shut up. Now, we also got prosperity. 
Let's see what's going on with prosperity, sweetie. With this prosperity card, this could be with work. I just keep getting this, though. Like, some of y'all, y'all are entrepreneurs, and you're like a solo person, and you don't need no help. So, I don't know why you're asking for help. I'm not saying that, like, if you got anything with merchandise or something like that, though, as well, or you got people that's on temporary to where you hire somebody or something like that, though. Like, say, if you got shipping and handling e-commerce or something like that, though, where you say, oh, well, I'm finna go on here to get mama come around here, and I'm gonna pay mama, uh... I'm going to pay mom about 500 to help me come box this up today. You know, whatever it is, though, right? But some of y'all, you got somebody in your environment that does not need to be here. Again, when it comes down to your work, because some of y'all are entrepreneurships. Somebody does not need to be in their environment because whoever this is, somebody going to hire somebody. They may fuck around and steal something from you, or they may get you caught up into something shady. Like, again, some of y'all, you may hire somebody that's jealous of you. So, this could be like the protege going rogue or something like that, though, as well. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this may be, but for some of y'all, this is your karma. Because some of y'all act like this, too. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all, this is your karma. You act like this, too. Look, this you. You like to walk around, act like you nonchalant to a lot of things. This is your car. This catching up to you. You going right smack dab into this. So it's like this is you. Like somehow you facing your own damn self and another person. Yikes. Ooh, we got prosperity. Let's see what's going on under prosperity. That's tough. We got the page of pentacles. We got six. We got eight of pentacles. We also got five of pentacles. We also got the hangman, the death card, the four of swords, the page of wands, and reversing the four of swords. Somebody told you to leave some alone and you didn't. Some of y'all, you're going to find out that a job offer passed up on you because somebody declined somebody and told them not to take your offer. Some of y'all going to find out that somebody paid someone to leave you alone. You're going to find out that somebody paid somebody to un like cover up some documents or say they didn't receive it or didn't do whatever. Somebody paid somebody. This was money that was received with their four swords, with the communication or paperwork. Somebody could have hid something, kept something from you. It was hiding in plain sight. Somebody could have took a piece of change that was where this could be your friend or someone that alleged said they was your friend when it come down to a situation that done something. Whoever this is, this fly by night ass type of personality in this page of pentacles, this person has possibly set you up one before with this hangman with their repetitious behavior for some of y'all this is a person that was paid to stall you out like does it make sense so this is somebody that could have paid somebody somebody could have done this a numerous of times or something like that that was well or this is somebody where they receive shit of you being an idol does it make sense oh so they come around to try to confuse you to keep up some form of mental gymnastics or something like that that was well this is where you're feeling sluggish where you don't have the energy or time to be able to do the things that it is that you need to do this is that person that's that stifling communication that you be having with this person. They continue to keep up shit. We got six of swords, a three of swords, a tower card, and we also got five of wands. Some of y'all, y'all could be getting the fuck on down. For some of y'all, if you allow this person to stay at your home, or you got a vacation home, or they got a house, whoever this is, somebody gonna destroy this fucking property. Bitch, I would sue the shit out of them. I'm sorry. I would not be on no high and mighty. The Lord gonna is my vengeance, bitch. I would be turning right back around, being spite for spite. I'm telling you, I would not. All the cars came up right. I would not. I would not. Because somebody got to learn their shit for real. Somebody has to get their shit. Because you allow somebody to stay into your home. For some reason, I don't think you did. This person stole this shit. Because with this acquired documents or somebody else, whatever the fuck it is, somebody trying to give something to somebody else, I would not be in a humble energy. Because of this hangman in reverse, somebody has done this before. Somebody got caught up for this shit, in prison for this shit. I would not. I'm telling you, I would not. I, I would not. But let's get back to it. With this Queen of Swords going back to this Moon card with this Eight of Cups that was well, you let this person come to your house, you're going to find out when you come back to go check on the property or home or whatever the fuck this is. This shit going to be destroyed. Somebody told somebody this, and they told them to keep this a secret. That's why I said, whoever you can find them, they're not your fucking friend. They not. They're not. They're not your fucking friend. Get it through your head. This person's not your fucking friend because they knew and they kept this shit secret. 
you going off like, all right, okay, cool. Oh, just leave it alone. No, one of y'all do not need to leave this alone. Like I'm telling you, because it's somebody that was in on it. I'll come back and get all they ass. If you ain't finna be around here beating them bitches in the goddamn street, bitch, I do not know what to tell you. I will go back and get every last one of them hoes. I will not be in no passive ass motherfucking energy. I would not. Because it's like everybody is in on it. Does it make sense? And the person who you keep confiding into about the same damn shit, they're lying. So they making it seem like, oh, just leave it alone. It's a lesson. Spirit did this because it ain't no motherfucking spirit, bitch. Spirit trying to tell you that you need to clean out your camp. This is what shit going on. You probably need to break up with somebody. But spirit ain't telling whoever to fuck this bullshit. Let me hurry up. Spirit is not. That's why I said it's just slowing you down. Like somebody's lying to you. Just slowing you the fuck down. Does that make sense? This person slowing you the fuck down, exhausting the shit out of you though as well. And this is a situation where you keep beating the dead horse. Now for some of y'all, you had to walk away and in the eight of cups to accept some shit so you can keep you cool about it some situation so you won't move in haste because this is a lot of anger that's coming through this though as well. Somebody also been throwing a lot of magic at you too. And they was happy doing it too with they lying ass. Maybe a pastor or an alleged Christian. You know how they be. Uncertainty. And we also got joy keeping your ass confused about what's good coming in your life or what's like what's good for you. Like that type of person. Girl, I'm going to give y'all a healing card because I'm a little angry. Now let's go with this Mandarin, Mandarin pathway. For some of y'all, hold up. Let me go. For some of y'all, when it come down to this uh, pathway though as well, I do kind of feel like if you are dealing with a spirit guide or something like that though as well, mm, this not a real spirit guide. I'm just gonna be. I'm not saying they're not good when it comes down to their job. This not your spirit guide. It's not your spirit guide. I'm sorry. Some of y'all, sorry. It's not your spirit guide. I don't know who needs to hear this. This person. Uh, this not your spirit guide. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this is not your spirit guide. I'm sorry. Whoever y'all listen to, they are not your spirit guide. It may be for somebody else, but they're not yours. Because somebody's trying to illuminate a state of a... Somebody's trying to illuminate a state of a passageway that is... Ooh, that's all I'm going to say. Like, yeah, uh-uh. This is not your spirit guide. Mm-mm. Because the beginning said you heard it all before. You'd have been there done it. I don't know who need to hear this. You'd have been there done it. Yes, whoever this is, this somebody that's trying to keep you all up in your head though as well. And some of y'all see this. That's why I say you heard it all before with the seven of cups. You'd have heard it before. I had to look up the word mindarin to make sure I was saying that right. Come on. Min meandering? No, it's a meandering. No, it's meandering. Following a winded course. A winding course. So you're dealing with an earth sign that's telling another earth sign some bullshit. Or this somebody that was trying to keep your ass cerebral as fuck when it comes down to certain things I was with, but it's not. Some of y'all see that. That's why I said somebody's lying to you. Sorry. It doesn't make sense. Somebody is lying to you, baby. They are. Like, They've been lying to your ass. Look, because we got Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. It's somebody that didn't want somebody to steal the show. This Queen of Wands is selfish and all about herself. This could be somebody where, oh, well, I took direction. And I'm so tired of somebody constantly trying to put the blame on somebody else saying that they giving them the direction. No, this is how these fuckers not healing. They doing this on their own. Somebody got the cognizance to say fucking no. This is somebody that is purposely doing this shit. I don't know if somebody used sex or somebody went in the other direction because they feel like somebody was attractive or whatever fuck it is. This is somebody that is lying and does not want to take accountability though as well. They don't. Because for some of y'all, they lying and they do not want to take accountability. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, and also a Virgo. Somebody does not want to take responsibility for their shit. They don't. Like, I'm telling you, they don't. This person does not. Because going back to this page of Pentacles, though, as well, somebody doesn't want to be bothered with this person. This Eight of Pentacles don't want to be bothered. This Eight of Pentacles ain't even 
focus on this motherfucker. Does that make sense though as well? Somebody not focus on this attention seeking ass motherfucker. You're not. Like, does it make sense? So again, that's why I said they be lying to you. He be saying, oh no, no, they did this, they damn self. I'm tired of people giving these people excuses. They got the choice, they got the cognizance, they made the motherfucking decision. That's why they're not healing and they keep doing the same damn shit. They keep lying. We got the hair funny reverse, we got the world card, the nine of pentacles, and we also got the sun card. Some of y'all, this is child care custody or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all, this could be between you and your baby daddy. So some of y'all got a baby, got like a baby mama, baby daddy, where somebody keep trying to hold the child over one of each other's head. I'm the baby mama. I'm this. I'm deserving of this. I used to be married to this person. I'm deserving of this. So they trying to keep shit a hush hush and secret. Nah, bitch, let's air all this shit out. Let's put it on the table again, because whoever this is, they trying to stroke your peace. So that's kind of bitch let's put it all up like does it make sense and now we are gonna be made since somebody want to be toxic shit let it all out shit y'all ain't gonna heal shit with that word card being in reverse because again somebody not seeing something clearly they don't want to see something clearly like some of y'all do with somebody that don't want to see nothing clearly this is their concept let that motherfucker suffer we got four of pentacles three of cups and we also got seven of pentacles and a nine of swords again this group was made on drama anyway. I'm just going to be honest. So if some of y'all catching on and you like, I'm going to go on back out, that's cool. But whoever this is that want to stay rigid and stick to this principle, let them. Because, again, they're going to learn the hard way. They're going to keep kicking it with these people. They're missing them kicking it with them people. They ain't going to learn to these motherfuckers sit up and talk about them. And they ain't going to learn to these people do their ass dirty and the shit that they got plotting for them. So, again, it's kind of like, let them shit. You can't say nobody because y'all want friends no motherfucking way. I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all want friends no motherfucking way. We got five of wands, the magician. We also got ace of swords and also the two of swords. Look at that three of swords. I told you this somebody had been plotting on some state of betrayal. The whole entire time. Somebody could be healing from some form of an assault too. Somebody is sending their pain to you through magic. You better heal by your motherfucking self, bitch. That's your ways. Somebody keep trying to create an argument and discord between everybody else. Now, that's your drama. Take your shit. Like, whoever this is, take your shit. Get the fuck on. You somebody that may have dealt with a narcissist. So, now they're becoming a narcissist. Does that make sense those way? Because they want to walk in pain. Like, some of y'all do with somebody like that. It's kind of like, you the one that, did, like, you need to go to therapy. Whoever this is, they dealt with this person. So, they have. And for some of y'all, this could be somebody that's trying to walk around like this. She don't stay. I just keep getting that with that six of cups. This is somebody that did something like this in the past. But this king of swords. And this is person that don't want to talk for their karma. This is somebody that, oh, they don't apply to me. They don't apply to me. Yes, it does. Whoever this is, this is somebody that's saying nothing applies to them. But it does. Like, we got nine of pentacles, the king of cups, the justice card, the tempers in reverse, and the king of wands. Like, they don't apply to me. Yes, it does. You can't tell spirit when to rush, sweetie. You can't tell your spirit when to rush. Like, does it make sense? This may be pissing one of y'all off. Like, some of y'all starting to notice this with this person. Like, it's starting to piss you off. Where you kind of like, hold up. Wait a minute. Like, you've been doing this shit a little bit too much. Like, some of y'all starting to piss y'all ass off. You kind of like, uh-uh. Stop fucking rushing me. Like, whoever this is, like, some of y'all starting to notice this. Like, this constant, do this, do this, do this, and constant rushing you to go do something. You love. learn from your karma. I'm telling you, like, some of y'all starting to notice this. It's like, stop, stop. Like, I just keep getting it, though. Like, somebody keep trying to rush somebody. It's like, damn, baby. I love it when them cars line up. Boom. Recognize the vine time. Ooh, I ain't a damn, I ain't many goddamn things. But, bitch, I'm a damn good terrorist. I keep doing <laughs> I ain't shit. I'm a damn good car slam. All right, let's get across so we can wrap this up. But I'm telling you, some of y'all, you starting to notice this rush, this pressure that somebody keep putting on you. And you kind of like, why do you keep rushing me? Move. Like, some of y'all starting to notice this with this person. Like, it's getting aggravating. It's like, why do you keep rushing me? Why do you keep doing this? Like, you're getting on my fucking nerves. Like, does it make sense? Like, some of y'all, somebody keep doing that. And it's aggravating. Look, experience a rebirth, recognize divine timing, and examine your integrity. We're going to read that one. Because, again, this is something that somebody got to change. That's why I see a spirit trying to pull you away from something so you can step into some type of ascension, accountability, understanding, and also change. 
Some of y'all just said puppeteer, puppet master. So this could be somebody, oh, I hate my job and I don't like it, but you sure keep doing it. Whoever this is, you sure keep lying and keeping them shit. Does it make sense? So that's somebody. As long as that money keep coming in, make it right. There's that person that's kind of like, shit, we don't care about you feeling bad about your goddamn self. You took the money. Like, this the other friends. Bitch, you took the money. Oh, well, we living good. This motherfucker. Huh, huh. Well, why you keep doing that? The fuck? Don't nobody give a fuck? Like, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's just like, if you're going to commit a crime, you're just going to commit a crime. And if you don't want to do the time, you don't want to do the time. But sitting up knowing you did something, but then somebody going to feel bad about it. And then turning around, feeling bad about it, and then complaining to the same people. It's like, baby, get on with it. Because if I, it's like, get on. Don't, it's like, get on. I be needing people to have the same energy when they commit them goddamn crimes. Does it make sense though as well? Because I hate a motherfucker who commit a crime, get down there crying and shit. That shit pissed me off. Now we got, your eye has been weakened, which means that you, which means that you are vulnerable to other people's influence. Only you can decide through clear, objective thinking and feelings what is best for you in this situation. Take the time you need to go within and look at the bigger picture and to ask, what are the long-term consequences of this decision? You are being asked to examine your personal integrity and make a stand for something that aligns with your strongest ideas. The choice that you make now will not only impact your life, but will also but we'll also, uh, shut up, but we'll also your experience in the spiritual world and your future lives. Even be aware that new potent possibilities are open up to you and these possibilities will allow you to influence others in a truly positive manner, thus creating ripples of goodness in the world. I said that. That's why I said some of y'all, it's kind of like, it's the drama, and you getting in the midst of somebody fucking drama, and your ass don't even fucking know, and you finna fuck around and find out, so, have a good night, so again, somebody may say it's Libra, but just know it came out on Libra's side, go check your zodiac sign, because if it was Libra, and I did Aries, I did Aries, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, so, go check one of them, it might come out of them, where you, that perspective may be on that side, so, Chris Prowse.